Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this week's Angel Messages. I'm thrilled that you've joined me. If you don't already know me, my website is sealwithlove.com and my membership, my incredible membership is intuitivesoulcircle.com. If you're watching this before or on the 22nd of November, 2211, then I have an 1111 sale on seven of my courses. So go check those out on sealwithlove.com forward slash 1111 sale. You'll see a link in the description. Okay, so let's get started with our angel messages this week. So we have crystals and angels together, that same vibration, yeah? So the energy of the earth and the energy of the heavens, and they both come together in the most beautiful energy, the most beautiful vibration frequency. So what I want you to do is place your hands over your heart just like angel wings so it's bringing that energy of the angels into your heart and then invite your angels to guide you to message one or two for the cards or message one or two from the crystals and you could have a mixture of both so you could have a card and a crystal yeah so do that without knowing what the crystals are now I'm going to show you the crystals. So we have ruby and we have aquamarine. Now see if your intuition is guiding you to one of these crystals that you didn't choose. If you chose crystal one or two, or if it's the same crystal that you've chosen, yeah, might be different. It's just a thought. Might be confusing, of course. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right then. So Let's start with crystal one. This is ruby. I picked this out of the bag first. And I love this crystal. It's it's one that I've had for oh my goodness, it's got to be it's got to be 40 years at least that I've had this crystal for. And you can see that you know, it's not perfect. It's not smooth. It's got bits and pieces on it. It's got some lovely, lovely color to it. And it's almost like my top. It's the same as my top when I think about it. So that ruby energy is very protective. It's loving. There's a connection to your, to your guides, to your angels, to your loved ones, to your family, blood connections particularly. But when I look at this, when I think of the history of it, I feel like it's about going back in time. So it's about connecting in this lifetime, something that was very close to your heart, because of course this is a, a pink red color. So it's something that was very close to your heart. And that red pink energy is that you loved it or you loved a person. So it may be that at this moment, there are memories that are coming up around relationships that you've been in or connected with, friendships, friends, family, loved ones, or even events, instances that you've experienced in the past that just bring joy into your heart or just bring a thought of love into your heart or who you were at that time. When I feel into the stone as well, there is this sense of moving something out of your energy field. So moving something out of your life that is linked in with this memory. So it could have been that you've been asking about what's blocking you in a particular area of your life or what do you need to integrate now or maybe how can you bring more love into your life? And so your soul may be taking you back in time to some memory that could have been yesterday or it could be many, many years ago or it may even be from a previous lifetime. It's not necessarily from this lifetime. So when I feel into this ruby, it feels like your heart. So your heart has all these beautiful pink pieces, but it also has these other pieces to it that look like cracks or wounds or scars. So it could be that, you know, previously you've been scarred, you've been hurt. And now you're looking back in time at those scars, looking back at those hurts. 
so that you can understand them a little bit better because it's often easier, isn't it, to look back on something and see yourself and understand yourself, forgive yourself, love yourself. So there's just this sense with this particular stone of bringing love back into your life in some way, your heart, your soul is wanting you to love some piece of you that maybe you didn't love before or you just didn't recognize it. And I feel with that, that it's protective in a loving way. It's almost like, you know, someone you love dearly is putting your arm, their arms around you in an embrace. And I feel that this is what this stone is doing. This is what your, your angels, your, your crystal essences are doing for you right now. They just want to put you in an embrace of love and say, you are always loved. And I feel that their message to you is for you to say that to yourself as well. All right. Okay. Our next stone is aquamarine. This beautiful piece of aquamarine. Now, when this came out of the bag, I looked at it and I thought, isn't that interesting? Because I was just picking up uh, one of my rings that I had and it was aquamarine and I thought I'd lost it. It's been a long, long time since I've seen that ring. It's another one of those things that was like 30 years old or, or more. And it's such a bright stone. And then when this came out of the bag, it just looks so different from that bright stone. This is a, a much more blue stone than that. But it's aquamarine again. And that aquamarine, there's something about it that just opens up. It's almost like it opens up a doorway. And it opens up a doorway to you. It opens up this energy of potential, of opportunity, of light. And it's like a, a vortex moving into a new level of being, way of being, new dimension of you, maybe a new gift that is being recognized or a new gift that is emerging and kind of surfacing and coming to the surface of you. So when this came out of the bag, it just felt like it was a gift. It felt like a gift was coming, it felt like a super surprise that was there. When I found the ring, I was really surprised that I'd found it because I thought I'd lost it. I thought that, you know, I, but I couldn't remember losing it, but I hadn't seen it for so long. And then it suddenly appeared and now it's disappeared again, which is sort of interesting to me. So I feel that that's also part of the message that something is coming into your life and then it may just be brief, but it's a gift. And that's what you need to know. And that's what you, you need to acknowledge or embrace that something comes in, something wonderful and a, a blessing is coming in, but then it may just step out again. And it's just to remember that it's a gift and not to be sad that it's gone. All right, I love this blue. I just love this blue because it's communication and it's your third eye as well and there's that connection to opening a new door to your amazing gifts your gifts not just an external gift that's coming in but your internal gifts your psychic gifts your intuitive gifts so these are opening up with a stone as well okay we have two cards come from the light worker deck or the light no these are from the secret language of light secret language of light I haven't used these before i thought i'd use them today so two cards which one number one or number two oh, i feel like this is number one all right this one says there is only light and so you can see that there's somebody sitting in lotus pose and then there's light all through them and around them and when this came out of the pack my sense was that it was about recognizing that, you know, sometimes things happen to us and it, it makes your energy dive or it, it brings you into a place where you're feeling anxiety or hurt or pain or worry or fear, etc. But your angels want you to know that there is only light. But at the end of the day, everyone is light. Everything is light. All your thoughts are light. Everything you're attracting is light. It's love as well. But this energy is through everything. 
that light is through everything. So when you are in fear, if you're in fear about something that might happen to you or that might happen to somebody else or that isn't going to happen, then it's focus on the light. Bring in the light because what you want, what you desire, what you need, what is in everything is that vibration of light. So when you are the light, then you be you're the frequency of the light that you want to attract. It's almost like a sound. So you become a sound and that sound that you want to attract then resonates with you. It vibrates with you. It connects to you. You're attracting it to you. And so then there's more of that energy within your energy field in your life. So I feel with this light, the vibration of light is you becoming the light and recognizing yourself as the light. So it can be positive and it can be a challenge in your life at this moment that is causing you to receive this message from your angels. And it could be that it's just to let you know that you're light and you spread that light to everyone. You always do anyway. Or it may be that you're doubting at this moment and seeing yourself as individual and seeing that you know, things aren't quite working out the way that you wanted them to. So your angels are saying to you, everything's light. You are light. Everybody is light. So you're never separate. Everything you want, need, desire is within that light, is within that field of light. So you can have that. You can experience it because you are the same frequency as that light. So you can attract that to you. So I feel that's a message for you. You are the light. And be the light. Be the light that you want to see in the world. All right? And be the light that you want to see in your life. Okay. Our next message, number two. This is for you. Ask your soul. So is there a question you've been, you've been asking? Is there something that you need to know at this moment? Is there something that's been on your mind and you, you don't have the answer for it? Well, your angels are saying, just ask your soul. And look at that. There's so much light in it, but there's also the heart. There's this heart vibration that's there. There's a heart vibration that's here. So it's connecting to the heart, heart, heart. And then the higher hearts just moving up through that heart energy, the heart light. So asking your soul is very much about connecting to your heart, right? Connecting to the truth within your heart. So if you've been asking a question, you haven't got the answer, go into your heart. Ask your soul. And you know what? It's kind of easy, isn't it, to say, oh, ask your soul for the answer, but then how do you get the how do you get the answer? And that answer isn't always a, a big booming voice that comes through. It's not necessarily well, you know, here we are. This is the answer for you and it's handed to you on a plate or you hear this voice coming through just like you hear me. It can often come in what I love to call cosmic crumbs. <laughs> so it can come in little clues cosmic clues it can come in little little crumbs get that the right way around right it can come in these little kind of ideas of something that will lead you eventually to the answer to that question and when you become adept at listening to your soul at connecting to your soul at asking your soul and then receiving the answer when you become adept at that then it's in a flash, it's immediate. That answer is there. But sometimes we have other stuff in the way, don't we? The other stuff that we have in the way might be doubts, fears, might be, your, you know, I don't have the answer. How can I possibly ask myself what the answer is? But the answer is there and it's in your heart. And there is no question you can ask that the answer isn't within your heart, isn't within the grasp of your soul. Because everything is light. Everything is light. So when you ask a question, let's imagine that that question has a certain frequency. You plug that into your heart. 
then your heart finds, it's like it finds that answer, it finds what you need because where attention goes, energy flows. So your attention is on that question. So your heart is going to find, your soul is going to find the answer to that question because it's within the unified field, let's say, of answers, of light. Everything's there available to you. When you ask your soul, you let go of your left brain saying, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this question. You let go of that. And you allow instead the wisdom that is a part of you to come through. And it comes through your heart so you know, you can feel it when it's, it feels right for you. It feels like, yeah, this is the right answer. It comes through your knowing. It comes through your senses. You might see the answer. You might feel it. You might hear it. You might sense it. You might just know it. You're using all of those senses to get the answer. And your soul is going to support you with that. Your soul is going to reveal to you the answer to any question. Any question you might have. Just be open to receive, open to listen to what that may be. Notice, be aware of the signs, the symbols that are around you. Notice any changes that suddenly happen or something that emerges that you hadn't expected because that may be an answer to your question. That may be an answer that your soul is guiding you to. I also feel one more thing with this. Of course, we're talking about the soul and we're talking about the heart and the angels. So ask the angels for guidance with this. If you have a question and you're having a hard time understanding or receiving an answer, then ask your angels to guide you to what that answer may be or what your soul is trying to communicate with you. And they're there. They're there to support you. They'll help you. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness. So we've had two crystals and two cards. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope it's brought to you the answers for your week ahead, the guidance for your week ahead, the support for your week ahead. And of course you can use these videos at any time. They are not time sensitive. It's whatever feels good for you. I look forward to seeing you next week. Remember again to check out my website, sealwithlove.com. And if you missed the sale, that's okay. I've got lots of other things going on. And of course I have a free gift, my 444 Guiding Angel Meditation. If you don't already have it, then that's the perfect meditation to connect with your angels every day. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. Bye. Bye.